Greetings, everyone. Greetings, greetings. So let's just jump right into this. Um, this is the movie uh, Mia Culpa. It just came out last Friday. Okay, and here goes my review. Um, this is the thing. Okay. Tyler Perry, back in the day, um, to me, I enjoyed his plays, right? His plays, to me, were good, were entertaining, all of that good stuff. Um, positive messages, the highs and lows of life, all of that good stuff. Okay, so he started doing bigger things. Um, that crossed over into movies. I think the first couple of movies were pretty, pretty okay, you know, um, <clears throat> But now, <laughs> for whatever reason, um, I, I don't know what's going on with Tyler, okay? But anyhow, I, I might have to do another video for that with all of my thoughts uh, that I would like to say or opinions or what have you. But I, I don't know. Tyler seems to get a little bit stuck in his writing. I really feel like um, he needs help, Okay. Now, let's jump into this. Honestly, uh, for the first, I don't know, 60 minutes or what have you, it held my attention, you know, and I wanted to know more. Even though um, his movie, Addicted, is a lot like this. Um, Trevante is an artist or what have you. He's a womanizer. He have all of these millions of pictures of, of women and everything. Um, he's smooth. He's a player. Um, it's, it's Trevante. He, 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 he's beautiful. <laughs> you know, he is eye candy. So of course, Tyler, he, he truly knows how to pick, um, a good cast, if you will. Um, it was a lot of chemistry between, um, Kelly's character and Trevante's character, or uh, what have you. Um, it just really fell flat for me uh, towards the ending. The ending, to me, was just flat out stupid. You know, and I'm just going to just give it raw. It was flat out stupid. It didn't make any sense. It, it looked crazy. Her brother-in-law looked completely stupid running around trying to unalive folks or what have you, the mother um, faking cancer or what have you. Like, it just, it made no sense to me. You know, make it make sense. It, it didn't make sense at all. Um, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I'm like, where, why did Tyler crash and burn towards the ending? You know, um, and it just makes me say, you know, Tyler, you do know we can see your thoughts, right? When you're when you're writing, you do know we can actually see this. So I'm I'm not sure what's happening, um, but the movie it gave a little bit of um, addicted. It also gave us a little bit of the movie Temptation, which I thought Temptation was a good movie. But it, it gave us a combination of both. And then the, the ending gave something completely different. I don't know what that was. I, I, so I don't know. I'm, I'm, I try to root for Tyler or what have you. He get us all excited and then he crashes and burns. So I don't know. But here, here is what I will say on a positive note. The soundtrack was bomb. And it seems to be that Tyler does no good music. The soundtrack, I was digging. I was vibing to that. Um, personally, <laughs> I started laughing because if I would have been uh, Zaire's attorney, when I first walked into his loft and he was playing that soft Isley Bro Brothers music, you know, looking at him and, and everything is all romantic and all of that, I would have said Tremonte. No, sir. You know, 
no more sheets. I am saved. I'm, I'm not fisting to do this with you. Meet me at my office. And I, you know, and as a married woman, as married now, so no, sir, we, we would not be doing this. Like, why would you set yourself up for, you know, for that type of temptation? No, sir. I mean, you know, um, it, it's Tremonte. Like, did, did y'all see how he was looking, you know, or what have you? And then another positive note, I loved uh, the fashion um, that Kelly was giving us. I mean, the coats, the suits and everything. She She's a Barbie doll. She is a chocolate Barbie doll. Like, look at her. She have the perfect nose, perfect features or what have you. Um, her acting wasn't that bad. Um, but of course we, we can see where she needs work or what have you. Um, she needs more coaching, you know, um, and I, I think she will be okay as far as acting, but she really does need more coaching for, um, you know, some of her lines to just be a little bit more solid, you know, more believable, or what have you. Uh, Trevante is a really good actor. So what can I say? And <laughs> that part where um, he, you know, was intimate with his neighbor and then Kelly went right behind her to, you know, and they had sex and all of that. I was like, ew, ew. Okay. STDs. That's, that's just nasty. Or what have you. Um, of course, the whole making love painting scene was a dream. You know, I am human. I am a woman. That's, you know, but that should be behind closed doors. You know, no more sheets, Tremonte. That's what I would have been saying to him. No, sir. All right. So I don't know um, what what I can truly say for this movie. Um, it was... It, it was a flop for me. I'm just going to say it was a flop for me. Had the ending uh, would have been differently where it would have matched like the first the first half, it would have been okay. But Tyler, you really need to get some writers to, to help you out because this, this isn't it. Or maybe you need to go back to plays. I'm not really sure, but, you know, it's, it's just not happening. Anyhow... Go check out the movie. I'll see you guys next time. Later.